Hello everyone, welcome back to channel. Welcome back to ETS. I'm sorry, I just got done wrapping up ETS2. That's why I said ETS2. Welcome back to Mega Truck Solar, guys. So today we're on our modded profile. We're using a modded truck. This is the 379X off the Steam Workshop. Um, the trailer is off the workshop too, but it is older trailer, so I think we're not going to be able to use it. I don't think it's been updated, and it's got the light issue. You see the lights are a little bit too bright, brighter than they should be for that trailer, so. We'll look at the end of that to see. So we got a 379. Ooh, I like the, uh, smokestacks on this truck with that light up. That's cool. Good looking truck. I do like it. So we're going to use a modded truck today. 379. We got some iron pipes. We got 330, 338 miles to go. This is the shortest trip I can find. Go ahead and close that up and get on the road. Alright, today the truck's running a Cummins N14 with an 18 speed eating full transmission. And I gotta have my eating fullers. I love a eating fuller. And no GPS. So let me open that back up because I don't have a GPS in this truck. I just realized that. So I'll have to put a GPS in this truck. Did not know it did not have one until now. Which is legit. These trucks didn't really have GPS's back then. You gonna let us out? Thank you. Hope everyone's doing well, and uh, happy new year to everyone. Just wrapped up a video doing an ETS2 run. Want to get up here and do one? I'm gonna explain to you guys what's gonna be going on for 2022 for ETS and ETS2. Um, I will be doing some mod show, uh, runs like this. Um, I know a lot of you guys that plays ETS, you probably have used this truck, but there's new guys out there that have not played it and don't know about this truck. So we're gonna be doing it as a me using it. Um, this is on the Sting Workshop, this uh, mod. It is a free one. The trailer is also on the Workshop. It is a uh, free mod that you can get off the Workshop too. Um, only thing I don't like about this truck, it doesn't, have, it doesn't give you an option for hood mirrors. I really wish it had an option for hood mirrors because this truck doesn't look right without hood mirrors. But it does not give you the option for that. So. Look on the window there, guys. It says Packer on the window. That's cool. You got the emerald on the window there. Good looking model, though. I do like it. There's the back of it. Your sleeper back there. Got a little microwave refrigerator in the back there. Now, I'm going to explain to you guys. Um, about what's going to go on with modded trucks uh, for 2022 for me. Um, I did say we're going to use some, and we are. We're, we're going to use some modded trucks because I said that, and uh, we're, that's what we're going to do. But it's not going to be all the time. It's not going to be every video. Um, I don't use modded trucks much, and like I said in the in ETS2 video. It's nothing against them. I think these modders, they do an awesome job. You know, they, they do all this work. A lot of these mods are free. You don't have to pay for them. Uh, so there, there's nothing against uh, none of these modders out there. They all do great. But the issue that I have is SCS updates this game quite frequently. And, and ETS too. They update a lot. And But they do update some of these mod, a lot of these mod trucks. They don't work on if it's a big update. A little update, it won't bother anything, but if it's a big update, you know, then these trucks, they don't work. You gotta wait for them, you wait for them to update them. Well, you wouldn't spend $125 on this truck 
and maybe you got to drive one time or two times. Well, I'm going to tell you, it takes a long time to make $125 in this game. Unless you're using a mod for the money. It takes a long time. That's why I have so much. So, because I, I stream and make videos with you guys, so I'm using I have, I got a mod that had put the extra money on there, so I'd have money to buy these trucks and stuff. But. Well, that day, we wouldn't be able to do this. So, that's why. It, it, that I, I don't use a lot of modern trucks. Right. Why to get us a thumbnail here in just a little bit here? Um, it is six o'clock. I don't. It says we should be there by one a.m. I don't think. Well, we won't make it. Daylight, so we're gonna just go get and get them now. So we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, that's probably somebody on. That's probably Discord going off. That's what it sounds like. Trying to make it get a little bit. We're gonna make it more light, anyways. So we can see the truck. Bring it around here. Bring it in a little bit more. Bring it up and over. And bring it down just a little bit. Now this uh this Peterbilt was, it says on the workshop, this Peterbilt was done by Chef86 is the name that's on the workshop for the truck. And I do believe that the uh, flatbed trailer is done by uh, HG Gaming is on the workshop. We can get it up to speed here. We should have no problem. This uh, engine's got about 600 horsepower. So we should have plenty of power for what we're hauling. There's going to be a lot more of these mod reviews coming. I've downloaded some trucks um, on the work. This is not on the workshop. I'm going to look at some of the ones that is on the workshop, but it does still work. And like I said, I know a lot of you already know the bottom. Those people, there's a lot of you that don't. There's newcomers out there every day that start playing ATS, and they look for trucks. I see it all the time on, on, on the groups. So I think this will help out. So far, I can say that I do enjoy this truck. Um, I know when the truck first came out, it, it, didn't have no, it did not have no engine options. Uh, the engine sound was default, and they was they were bad. Um, but once it was out for a while, it got support from other engine modders that makes the engine a lot of the engine packs and stuff like that. And 
now it's uh, it's got a lot of support up there for engine packs and stuff. That's one thing too guys, you can't hear the jig break from the inside of the truck. You have to hear it from the outside. That's something that needs to be fixed. In this model. Only other thing I can see is uh I, I think it needs to have an option hood mirrors. Okay, we heard it then. I did say we're going to be doing a uh, review of a Mac. Uh, Superliner is coming. It's going to be the next truck we do. I already have this truck picked out. I wanted, This is going to be the first one I wanted to do. And it's been a long time since I used it. Officer. Nevada Highway Patrol there. Just kind of being quiet. We're getting to do some uh, desert run out here. Most of the time, this is something that we don't get a lot now. Most of all the runs are on the expressway. We'll probably have to get on the expressway eventually. So, get these back road runs in is great. Just kind of looking at the site, taking in this uh, listen to this uh, this Cummins engine in this uh, pit wheel. Okay, so now we're here that that uh, that of J Bree so before I didn't do it. Maybe it didn't activate. That could be that could be an issue. So I can't complain then about the J break. I don't think I can really complain about it is not having hood mirrors. I mean I, I do like the truck. It, I mean I'll show you all the conversation options when we when we get done this run uh, that you guys decide what you want if you like it but um i like it it's um it stands out i mean you do have obviously you do have viper 389 uh which is currently not working it hasn't been updated for the latest version of ats so it doesn't work right now
through this lawn here. We actually have made pretty good time. We are we got a hundred and eighty-six miles to go, that's not bad. I just got being quiet so you guys can listen to this uh, truck. I get a lot of uh, comments about that. They want to hear more of the truck. And, and I understand that. Look at this out from the outside here tonight. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? I like it. I like the uh, smoke stacks and lit up the uh, the Peterbilt on the stacks there. On the looks looks cool. This is one of my favorite trucks right here guys. It's a 379. Next to the Freightliner Classic, that's the two of my most favorite trucks. It's a 379 Peterbilt and a Freightliner Classic. Because to me it's one of the best two trucks ever made. And the best looking two trucks I've made. town here. So we got more things guys we are planning for 2022 uh, for the channel. I'm looking for some other, some other stuff to bring over to play. Uh, I'm not going to be doing no big shooters over here because I done some Far Cry 6 and it did not, you know, no one watched it. So I'm not going to record it, waste time to record it if it doesn't get any views. And no one really, well, no one watched it so that's not going to happen.
we just about had all bat roads on this run. No traffic out here. We can uh, just book it on down the road. Okay, I've seen one stutter there. That's pretty good. I'm being quiet right now, guys. Sit back and listen to the truck a little bit. Let's hear the, the J brake sound from the outside here. It's kind of quiet, not very loud. Not bad, though. Seventy miles ago now. We're in California now, so spinning's gonna be fifty-five.
tell you, damn me lies and flashing hair. Damn me lies, fool! Watch it, watch it. I tell you, damn me lies. So guys, like I said, modded trucks, I'm going to try to do more of these modded trucks and do reviews and stuff like that, but uh, modded trucks will not, be able, uh, will not be used all the time. That's something that we're not going to do. We're going to be using SCS trucks mostly. But we will be using modded trucks too. It's a winner it makes. We are using Frosty's winter weather mod. It has been updated for 1.4.3, the latest version of ATS. See what they want it. Don't know if I can get in here. Yeah, I kind of thought we was going to do that. Let me see if I can bring it over a little bit. There we go. Alright, so where do they want this? Trying to find where they want it. It's got to be over here.
Okay, so it's got to be right there because it moved. Let's see. I don't see anything. Oh, my hand hit it. My hand hit it, guys. Sorry about that. Alright, so we can take some Volvo rims. Alright, let's see. Next run. Okay, here we go. Make sure you put your seatbelt on now. And they're not there. Okay. Don't know why they're not there. Alright guys, so that's gonna, I'm gonna show you uh, everything about this truck, all your options and stuff for it. So you find this, at, at, of course, at the Peterbilt dealership. It's your first one here, it is a Peterbilt 379X, 72 inch uh, sleeper. Has uh, one option for a sleeper. You have three chassis options. You have a uh, eight by four, and you have an eight by four with the stir axle. You have a, a, a ton of engine options. Uh, you're ranging anywhere from um, I'm seeing 360 horsepower to 800 horsepower. Uh, transmissions are ranging from nine automatic. All the way to 18 speed Eaton Fullers. You have um, different in gauge in, uh, colors. You can do red, you can do white, um, blue, green, white. Yeah, I need to change that um, to that. I didn't know it had a GPS option. I'll do that. Uh, then change the color of the truck. Then here's your regular options. Yeah, you have quite a few here. Your bumper, you have like that one grill. So the truck has quite a few uh, options for it that you can do to it. Oh, okay, so that's gonna be it for the day video guys want to get here and uh, take a look at the uh, The Peterbilt 379X found it over on the steam workshop uh, Like I said, um, I've used this truck before but it's been updated since then uh, It's uh, it's been a lot of changes since then so I want to get in here and do a, a mod review with this truck This was gonna be the first mod review that we done As far as the trailer goes um not really has a lot has been done to it. It's been around for a long time. It's also on the workshop. So I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And have a good day.